It's Wadi Krupp and welcome to your Tuesday Tiger Today in association with PuketGazette.net. Today's news. Phuket's governor, Norapat Plodtong, is hoping to establish Phuket's east coast as an eco-tourism zone. He was visiting a wildlife reserve in Paklok with the Telang district chief and the mayor of Paklok, along with wildlife officers. The area already contains the island's two main waterfalls, Bang Pei and Tong Sai. The governor says it's an important area with a lot of potential to develop as a major tourism area. He noted that Phuket's Gibbon Rehabilitation Centre is also in the region, adding to the diversity of wildlife-related attractions already in the area. Vorayut Bos Volvidja remains on the loose, but as world authorities try to track down the 32-year-old heir to the Red Bull fortune, the search has also inadvertently exposed the Volvidja family's fortune and where they've been hiding their money over the past two decades. There's a full report at the PhuketGazette.net. Interesting read. Five Chinese tourists are still recovering from injuries after a bus crash in Chiang Mai involving 14 people, 11 Chinese tourists and three Thais. According to witnesses, the pickup truck lost control and crashed into the van. The accident happened on Highway No. 118 linking Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai in the Doi Saket district. The three injured Thais are a local tourist guide and the drivers of the two vehicles. Well, bad weather was obviously a contributing factor in the last story, and flood conditions persist in at least seven provinces nationwide, with seasonal monsoon rains expected to continue lashing the country throughout this week. This week's rains in the central and northeastern areas are driven by Tropical Storm Hato, which is moving west over the South China Sea in the next few days. New gen traffic tickets are going to be printed in both Thai and English. Apart from a new barcode to assist in the paying of fines, there are a few other changes as well. The new tickets will also allow accused motorists to object to the officer's charges and explain themselves within 15 days. The tickets have a section for a police officer to record whether the accused agreed or not with the charges. And a backpacking couple visiting Chiang Mai over the weekend are being hailed as heroes for their brave actions to save three Thais drowning in a Chiang Mai canal. The couple saw the Thai people sinking in their car, which had just driven off the road and into one of the city's canals. They dived into the dirty water to free the people in the car. The identities of the foreign people are unknown, though a bystander snapped their picture and shared their story online. Given the condition of water in most Thai canals, they're heroes indeed. Let's check out the weather. 31 today, only a 10% chance of rain down to 26 tonight. And for tomorrow, they're saying partly cloudy, 31 and only a 10% chance of rain. Looks like a nice week ahead. That's all for Tiger today. We'll be back again tomorrow. But before we go, we'll leave you with some Ghostbuster action on Patong Hill yesterday as the Ghostbusters were trying to rid the area of evil spirits given the number of accidents, especially bus accidents, in the last few months. Thanks for joining us.